What's up, third and fourth graders? Um, we are now on our fourth lesson for our adventure with lines and shapes, okay? So let's look back on how far we've come. So we started with those thumbnail sketches, right? That was almost uh, three weeks ago now, okay? And we had our practice with our contour drawings. And last week, our positive and negative shapes that were super fun. So if you remember, back when we were doing our blinds um, and continuous contour drawings, we were talking about how our contour drawings was like an exercise to get us ready for a big piece of artwork, right? Our contour line drawings help us capture the shape of something using a basic line, right? Just like how a basketball player has to do push-ups to get ready for the big game, those contour line drawings and all of the activities and exercises we've done up till now have helped us get ready for a big, awesome art project, okay? So today, we're gonna be having some fun with organic and geometric shapes. So let's take a look at our objective for the day and we'll get started, okay? So here it says, by the end of this lesson, you will be able to find organic and geometric shapes in your environment, okay? Remember, environment is the place around you, okay? Organic and geometric shapes, you may have talked about those with your art teacher before, but it's okay if you haven't, because we're gonna talk about what they are, okay? After that, you will be creating a piece of artwork that expresses your personality, using both organic and geometric shapes. So we're gonna learn a little bit more about those shapes and how we can identify those two different groups and then you'll be using what you know to make something that's special to you, okay? Expressing your personality and expressing who you are, okay? So let's go over here and organic and geometric shapes. So I'm gonna ask you, what do you notice about the screen, okay? What do you see? You might say squares, triangles, circles, rectangles, okay? And you might also notice that each shape is also inside a square. Hmm. These are all shapes that you're probably able to name, okay? That is because they are geometric shapes. So I always like to say geometric shapes are straight and serious or sometimes curved, okay? Because we can also have circles and ovals and half circles in that mix, okay? Geometric shapes are like circles, triangles, squares. They have perfect uniform measures and they don't usually show up in nature, okay? And that is because they are perfect and precise. You could take a ruler and measure each side of a square, okay? You can use a special tool to measure a circle, okay? We know exactly what our we know exactly what our geometric shapes are. Now, what about here on this screen? Hmm. Are these geometric shapes? Where would you find some of these? Okay, we might see a flower. Some of us might recognize this as a chicken. Okay. Uh, what could that be called? This looks like a blob, you know? Ge geometric shapes always have a name, okay? You can say that's a triangle, that's a square. These are what's called organic shapes, okay? They're loose and they're silly and they're wild, okay? Organic shapes are shapes that are free form and usually found in nature. These shapes cannot really be named always. So we can tell here that that's a tree, that that's a butterfly, okay? But is that the same as a triangle or a circle? No, they're not, right? This is a footprint shape, okay? So you know that that's a footprint, but is that something that you could measure exactly? No, not quite. And what about those things? Do those probably have a name? No, those might be blobs. They might be similar to the puddle you see on the sidewalk after it rains. Now, what about this? This is a leaf. Hmm. But can you tell somebody 
I saw a leaf that was exactly three inches long and no, because you don't need to measure a leaf to know that it's a leaf, okay? And again, we have our handprint, okay? And our flowers, these are organic shapes, things that we see all around our environment. So I want you to take a second to look around the room around you, see if you can find one geometric shape and one organic shape, okay? I'm gonna find some as well and we can share together. I found a geometric shape. I found my dog's ball, which is a circle. I could measure this if I need to, and I can give it a name. Okay. And I have some organic shapes. I have these leaves and flowers. I have a, a, a cup of flowers sitting on my table. You might need to go outside to find um, organic shapes like these, but if you think hard enough, you might be able to notice maybe the pillow on your couch is sitting in a squishy spot and it looks like an organic blob, okay? Awesome, so we have organic and geometric shapes all around us all the time. So now, how can we use what we know about organic and geometric shapes to make our own piece of art, okay? Today, we're gonna do a self-portrait, okay? Self-portrait is a picture of you. You probably know that by now, okay? So. Don't worry if you can't get your outline to look just like this. That doesn't matter too much. What we really want to see is that you can use your organic and geometric shapes really well, okay? So if you need an example of how to get your portrait outline started, guess what? You're going to use one geometric shape. That's going to be your oval. Geometric, it's an oval. And then we're gonna have an organic shape down at the bottom with a curve and a curve for your shoulders and your neck, okay? Don't sweat it if it doesn't turn out perfect, okay? So, we want to combine both organic and geometric shapes in this picture of you. But we don't wanna just throw random shapes on a paper and call it a day. I want you to take some time to think about what shapes you might connect with and what do you think represents you. If maybe you have a silly personality, you're gonna have organic shapes that are like silly blobs, okay? Maybe if you have a more serious personality, you might have squares and rectangles, straight and serious geometric shapes, okay? We're gonna have some of each on the page, okay? Now I'm thinking about myself, I really like nature and being outside. So all inside my self-portrait, I'm gonna do my organic shapes. Now, it does not need to be realistic. I'm gonna have flowers for my eyes, a leaf for my nose, and I love to eat fruit. So I'm gonna do a banana for my smile. Okay, remember those organic shapes can be things that are around us, but if they're not something regular, like a square, a rectangle, those things that we know as basic shapes that we name, it's an organic shape, because is every banana shaped exactly the same? No, they're not, okay? I think I'm also gonna do leaves and more flowers in my hair too. Okay, but I still need to add geometric shapes in here as well. So I'm gonna have a curtain of geometric shapes going all around my background, okay? So I'll skip ahead for you and you can see here that I've added my geometric shapes all around. And now if I were to keep going, okay, I have my geometric shapes going all the way around the background of my picture. And you can see a bit of my personality in the picture. I have leaves for all of my hair. I have silly swirly lines on my cheeks, okay? And a colorful flower necklace and more organic shapes over here on my shirt, okay? I also started to color it in with some crayons. If you have crayons at home to use, that's awesome. If you don't, it's okay. It's okay to do the outline. 
but I want to see us practice organic and geometric shapes, okay? You're going to have fun with this project today. Now let's check real quick what we have to do to follow up for the end of this lesson. Okay, so what part of your picture are you most proud of and why? What was most challenging and why? Okay, so I want you to come back to these questions when you're done with your whole picture. Okay, after you think about those questions, maybe on another piece of paper or on the back of your drawing, see if you can list four organic shapes from your picture and four geometric shapes. All right, great job today. We've done all four lessons for our lines and shapes. Great job.